Hey guys, on today's video, we're going to be looking at Google Photos. So let's get started. Let's open up the app. Now, it doesn't really matter if you guys are running this on iPhone, iPad, or Touch. It's going to be the exact same instructions for all of them. So on the top right hand corner of your screen, you're going to see that image that you guys chose. Maybe it's an icon. Maybe it's nothing. Maybe it's just a letter. Well, tap right there. That's that circle on the top right hand side. From here, you're going to see down here below. It's kind of like the fourth option. It says 512 items to delete from this device. That means all those videos and photos have already been backed up on Google. So right now they're in my own personal Google Photos online. So now I can delete them from my device. So this is exactly what you have to do if you wanna delete anything and then just free up some storage in your device, whether that's an iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. So again, it's only gonna delete the videos and photos that have already been backed up here on Google. And you can always get them back, so you can download them back into your iPhone, iPad, wherever, or you can log into your computer and take a look at these photos too, because now they're online. Anyways, let's just tap on that option. It's kind of the fourth one down here below, so you will see that. And once you tap there, you will get this screen. So this is just to make sure that you really wanna delete them from within your internal storage. So, of course I do. Now, sometimes you're going to see something like this, allow Google Photos to delete. We're going to go on and just select delete. And now it should free up our space. Usually it doesn't take that long. Of course, if you have a lot of pictures that you're doing this for the first time, it's going to take longer. If you only have like one or 15 pictures, it's going to be so fast. However, at this point, we're not really done. If you really want to go on and get your storage back so you can keep taking more pictures, just tap on got it for now. Get out of the app. And then we're gonna go into Photos itself. So that's the app that you have already installed. That's your normal app, default app on your device. And once you open that up, you're gonna see everything from here. Just scroll all the way down. If you scroll all the way down, you're gonna see recently deleted. That's the very last option down here below. And I do have those 512 in total. So I'm gonna tap right there. Once I tap there, these are all the pictures that have already been backed up or pictures I just deleted from before. So at this point in time, on the top right hand corner of your screen, again, you're gonna see select. So just tap on select. And on the bottom left hand side, you're gonna be able to see delete all. Now if you wanna recover anything, bring it back right now to your internal storage, just go ahead and press recover, which is on the right hand side. However, on the left hand side, on the bottom, it's gonna say delete all. Just tap right there. We're gonna see this message popping up where it says delete 512 items, yes. And right now, finally, they are out of my phone. So at this point in time, I have my storage back. I can just keep going. What I also suggest doing usually after this is going to PhotoStream and then just delete everything from there. PhotoStream is not really internal memory, so you could delete anything from there and nothing really happens. However, it's nice to clean it up, especially when you're getting close to a thousand. That's when it's still not the best thing. It's a little bit glitchy. You might not be able to see some pictures from one device to another that easy. And yeah, I'm pretty close, 700. So I definitely want to do that. As you guys can see, I still have 300 left in there, which means I do have to go back and make sure I back those up before I delete them. But anyways, that would be it for this video. If you guys have any questions, comments, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe.